There's a version of faith that I grew up on that had all the best intentions, but not quite the best messaging. That version of faith could be summarized by one word, against. I grew up learning that my faith was against sin, against bad language, against immorality, and pretty much anything that might lead me down a self-destructive path. Like I said, all great intentions, but this idea of being against things seemed so core to what I was learning. Not only did I believe God is against all these things, but I also started wondering, if I happened to do some of these things or associated with people who did, or if I ever wanted to do anything bad, does that mean God would be against me? Unfortunately, I don't think it was just me that had this experience. In fact, I think a lot of Christians today have a reputation of being known for what they're against. And that reputation could create a perception for others that God is also against them. I don't know about you, but I don't naturally gravitate towards people, institutions, or organizations that I know are against me. And I especially wouldn't want to follow a God who always seemed angry and against me. But the good news is, is that nothing could be further from the truth. If we open up the pages of scripture, we see something very different. In Romans 8, verse 31, Paul writes, What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Paul's writing and reminding us that God is for us. God is for me and God is for you. God created you. God loves you. God sent his son to die for you. Jesus conquered death so that God could have a relationship with you. God wants you to experience a full and abundant life. God is for you because he and his glory are the best thing for you. Yes, it's true that God is against certain things, but as Christians and as a light to the world, what if we were known more for what we were for rather than what we were against? How something is presented affects how it's perceived, and perception is reality, which means the way we present ourselves and the way we present our faith can influence someone else's reality and how they perceive God. So the question is this, how can you present your faith to others in a way that people will know that God is for them?